Alright guys, nice calm day, finally. No wind. It's gonna wash the kids' truck. This windshield's trashed. But, it's already too hot. So instead, what I'm doing, so this video is gonna be about maybe high speed vibrations that you're getting from your cars, trucks, automobiles, planes, trains, Something else? Anyway, welcome back to AFAST M19. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys comment if you guys have any questions. Spider. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, there's a comment sub section below. Sometimes I don't get your comments. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll go to the, the YouTube studio and I'll find a comment. That's not on my YouTube channel, so it's kind of weird, like some people comment and then I'll respond and then I won't hear from them for a week or two and I'll go check my YouTube studio and they'll be all, oh, comment. And I'll be like, okay, why are they commenting so, you know, so late? I look at the date and it was the same day that I commented back. So anyway, YouTube stupid. Yes, I said that. Robots. YouTube robots, go ahead, demonetize my video. I don't care. Anyway, this video is for basically high speed vibrations or vibrations you get in your car. As you guys know, I bought these Mercedes G Wagon wheels. And obviously, you can see I'm cleaning the rear of the tires, the backside of the wheels. So, had a vibration. So, but I was thinking it was because the uh, ring, the center diameter, the hub. Um, uh, anyway, it was the wrong diameter. So, uh, yesterday's video or the day before's video, I said it was 76.1. It's actually 71.6 on the Audi. And it's 81.4. 81.4. And 71.6 millimeters, 84. I don't know, 84.1 on the new wheels, and 71.6 millimeter. This is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. I'll look it up. I bought some on eBay from China, so I probably won't ever get them. Um, just to clarify, so we got. 84.1 millimeter to 71.6 so as you can see this is what I bought from Hong Kong 84 not sure if you can even see that or not 84.1 millimeter outside diameter inside diameter 71.6 so anyway Bought some of those, ordered some of those, we'll see what happens. But uh, I kind of was thinking that the vibration's not from the hub-centric uh, spacer, adapter, whatever you want to call them. Um, I kind of think it was because there's so much nasty crap on these wheels. There was probably, so this is a clean wheel, cleanish wheel. Some people might say it's not clean, but I think it's clean, it's a lot cleaner. So right in here, there was probably about a sixteenth inch of just grease cooked on there and the same right here. So as you can see, it wasn't exactly opposite, so it was there and here. So it looked like this this uh, truck, this G-Wagon, Mercedes G-Wagon that this was on had leaky uh, either axles, uh, something wheel bearings I don't know what it was leaking brake uh, brake fluid I don't think it was brake fluid because it would have eaten it would have eaten the uh, coating on here so anyway basically this video is just uh, just a little quick little video of uh, if you got a vibration maybe high speed vibration um, check just to pull the wheels off and clean this stuff this one's been cleaned I use Scotch Bright on this one. Um, it's not cleaned 100% because I wanted to show. Um, 
as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not. It's kind of bright out here. There's no no grease whatever right here. Then there's grease right here. There was not that much there. Then there was a ton right in here. So if we look at one of these wheels, um, this is just clean with degreaser. I don't think this wheel, this wheel looks like it has some right in here. But if you look at this wheel, this wheel's co coated in it, all right here. So about from here to there, no, to right here. From here to there, it's coated in this grease, grime crap. Um, I think it's gear oil, because it's kind of thick. So I kind of think, uh, I don't exactly know how the axles are on the uh, G-Wagon. I don't know if they're independent uh, or solid axle. But somehow, some way, um, it's le they were leaking. And uh, I think that was probably 80% of the cause of the vibration that I was getting. Because about 55 miles an hour. That's why I didn't do a, a video of me driving it. Because it was kind of whoop, 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 whoop. The steering wheel was like this. Uh, 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 uh. So, I kind of think in the wheels, 20% of it was hub-centric. The wheel wasn't centered on the hub. And the other 80% were probably the, uh, the grease, the grime, the nasty stuff. Because the wheel was just so heavy in those spots. It's just throwing the wheel like this. So anyway, I'm going to clean these up. Um, this one, I'm good. I'm good with this. Um, I do want to paint them up black um, I don't know if I want to do a gloss black because I don't really like matte black so I might do a gloss black um, but I don't I don't think I'll be doing that today um, I get an extra day off next work cycle so instead of six days I'll get seven days off um, if they don't shut us down shut the railroad down which I don't think they will because the world is starting to open up and uh, yeah um, so I think they're gonna keep us working they have a lot of projects that they need to get done for the workload that they're assuming is gonna be taking place here soon so uh, yeah um, that'll give me some time to go get these mounted balanced um, I might not be able to get uh, the hub centric spacers because um, China and those are coming from Hong Kong and uh, it says on there possibly shipping delay from China so uh, which means I probably won't get them so I'm gonna look for another company try to do something local maybe someone out there it's a machine shop or a lathe can uh, pump those out for me. They just have to have that. Um, I forget what it's called. That little 45 or 33 degree angle inside and outside. Um, it's like a taper. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a taper. Um, but yeah, it's uh, basically the inside here would have to have a little chamfer all the way around little angle going around so that it it'll fit on the hub because the hub is it's got a taper to it so it needs to have the recess taper probably not saying the right terms but whatever anyway let me get these cleaned up it's already getting hot out here and uh no i don't want to take off all my clothes not yet so let me get these uh cleaned and uh show you what they look like and what i found all right guys i'll be back
All right. So here we go. We have it. Wheels are cleaned, cleanished. So I just want to show show you guys something. Um, I already got most of it off, but I just want to show you a little bit. Do something with this speaker box. Um, let's, grab a, let's grab a dental pick. Let's go picking. American pickers. All right. Which wheel was it? Is this last wheel? So I found this on a lot of wheels. Oh boy, my back. So we have a right there. So this was a. I don't know which one it was, but there was a like five big large rocks on this on these wheels. So probably. Um, I wouldn't really say the size, but it probably it could be enough to throw off the balance. So if you ever buy used wheels, tires from somebody, oh, this is not working like I wanted. Probably just get a screwdriver, but uh, you can see basically where all the the rocks were. So right here. We had some rock there, um, rock there, some rock down in here. So all these rocks that are all soaked in this, which I'm assuming gear oil, or whatever you want to call it, crud. Um, we had a rock there, um, I think there was a rock there. You could see kind of like where the dull spots are. Like where I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. So there's a rock there. So there's basically rocks stuck in the uh, gear oil everywhere. Um, so if you get new wheels or used wheels, what I suggest, um, couldn't really tell if these wheels were bent, tweaked, or whatever. With aluminum, you can usually tell uh, because the uh, there'll be like stress cracks on the coating of the powder coating um, steels the same way but usually uh, when aluminum wheels get dinged they'll break they'll crack so I don't see anything on I don't see any of that on here so anyway let me get back so if you get new wheels used wheels from somebody that you don't know that you've never driven and you didn't get to test drive them or put them on your car and drive them what I suggest is get the wheels, clean the whole back side of these wheels all up if they're dirty, nasty, and then take these weights off. So take all the weights off, all the wheel weights. So so you see I got wheel weights there, got wheel weights here, I got one right there, some right there. Take all those off and then take them to go get balanced. Um because a lot of tire shops are lazy, they won't uh, do a full good balance. They'll just add weights to the weight of those those weights. Um, so if they're just adding weights, it's going to add more mass to the wheel. Um, and it, and if one of those weights comes off, it just throws off the whole balance of the of the wheel. So you might because these wheels are balanced and true. From the factory, you're only balancing the tire, per se, because um, the wheel should spin true from the factory, um, straight and true. Um, so the tire is what is uh, is out of balance. So take the weights off, take them down, have them balanced. This way, it's all new weights because you never know if you take these weights off, they might only use a half ounce, quarter ounce of weights. Whereas right now, um, let's see if we can see a size on these. So this looks like it's 2.5 ounces. This one's probably like one ounce. So let's go to these little ones. So these are quarter ounce. So we got one, two, three, four. So that's one ounce. One, two, three, four. That's two ounces. And this is two ounces. 
So right now we got four ounces and you can see how these are kind of offset. You have this one there with this one there. So if we take these off, they might just throw one weight maybe over here to counterbalance these two. So get rid of these two and they might just throw a weight on that side. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these weights off. And then go have the tires, the wheels balanced. And then uh, I'll let you guys know if they add four ounces uh, to each wheel, which looks like it's about that. Um, about anywhere between three to four ounces per wheel. I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, just take them off. Take them off so they could start from new. Especially since those are newer tires. Um, they probably did balance them just fine. They're probably still balanced just fine. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, just check them out. Just take them off so that you can start fresh. Because like I said, your wheel might not need balanced. Or it might need a quarter ounce. It might need four ounces in one spot instead of having four ounces scattered. Um, but anyway, just let the professionals do what they do. And that's why I'm going to remove them, take them to go get balanced, and we'll find out. Sorry guys, that's going to be it for this video. Kind of pooped, my back's tight, I'm going to go stretch, I'm going to go lay down. Um, if you guys like what you see, give me a like, thumbs up. If you don't, I don't mind, it doesn't bother me. Alright guys, thanks for watching, comment down below, subscribe, somewhere over here. Um, and that's it, alright guys, later.